वॉचिंग एच डी टी टाइम्स विद मी मुस्कान राज कश्यप लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट दी टॉप स्टोरीज पी एम मोदी ग्रीट्स हार्ड वर्किंग इंजीनियर सेज बैकबोन ऑफ अ नेशन प्रोग्रेस लो ईवी कॉस्ट कुड ड्राई टू थर्ड ऑफ ग्लोबल कार सेल्स बाई ट्वेंटी थर्टी निपा वायरस आउटब्रेक इन केरला विद सिक्स कन्फर्म केसेस इंक्लूडिंग टू फैटिलिटीज लिबिया फ्लॉ डेथ टोल इन जर्ना रीच इज इलेवन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड बट लोकल ऑफिशियल सजेस्ट इट वुड बी IMD predicts moderate rains with gusty winds in Delhi and CR. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi conveyed his greetings to all engineers on Engineers Day. He praised their innovative thinking, unwavering commitment and integral role in advancing the nation. Let's have a look. PM highlighted their contributions which span from infrastructure projects to technological advancements impacting various facets of our daily lives in 1968 the government of india decided to commemorate the birth anniversary of moksha gundam visveshwaraya one of the greatest indian minds since then national engineers day is celebrated in india on september 15th each year national engineers day serves as a tribute to vishveshwaraya's legacy and acknowledges the contribution made by engineers to india's growth and development bureau report sgd times new research suggests that due to declining battery cost electric vehicles may achieve price parity with fossil fuels models in europe by 2024 and in the us market by 2026 let's have a look According to a report from the Rocky Mountain Institute released on Thursday, it foresees a reduction in battery costs by half during this decade, declining from $151 per kilowatt hour in 2022 to a range of $60 to $90 per kilowatt. This cost decrease is expected to make electric vehicles cost competitive with petrol cars in all markets by 2030. not only in terms of purchase price but also in running costs reportedly batteries constitute a significant expense making up approximately 40% of the total cost of an electric vehicle ev until recently this cost factor rendered evs out of reach for a substantial portion of consumers however manufacturers are continuously working on reduc- reducing these prices through investments in innovative battery chemistry materials and software to enhance the efficiency of evs rmi senior principal kings mill bond said bureau report sgd times let's take a short break we'll be back soon sgd let's me question anything even the university I have visited other campuses too but SGT has better infrastructure plus it's hope Here we are not just students we are emerging journalists got an opportunity to interact with renowned media experts Asia's biggest shooting floor latest equipment practical learning faculties from the industry freedom of expression come be a part of this revolution SGT University nurturing future leader Welcome back after the break The Nipah virus strain in Kerala is the Bangladesh variant that spreads from humans and is characterized by a higher mortality despite lower infectivity. The virus for where there is no such vaccine spreads through contact with bodily fluids of infected bats, pigs or humans and has a mortality rate up to 75% among those infected. Let's have a look. 
The virus recently caused two deaths. There are three individuals under treatment for the virus, with a nine years old boy in a critical condition. On September 13, a 24 years old health worker became Kerala's fifth confirmed Nepal case of the latest outbreak. One more case is that the sixth of the Nepal virus was confirmed by the health minister's office, in which a 39 years old man who is under observation in a hospital in Koriko. In response to the Nepal virus outbreak in Kerala, Koriko district, the ICMR provided the state with the requested monoclonal antibody to combat the virus. Although not clinically proven, the monoclonal antibody is the government's sole option for treating infections. The ICMR also dispatched a mobile laboratory to Koriko for on-site testing of virus samples. Following the recording of the five cases included two fatality. Bureau report, SDT Times. The Libyan Red Crescent said that the death toll in Libya's coastal city of Derna has scored to 11,300 as the search efforts continue. However, local officials suggest that the death toll could be much higher than the announced report said. Let's have a look. More than 3,000 bodies were buried by Thursday morning's Eastern Libya's Health Minister Othman Abdul Jalil said, adding that another 2,000 were still being processed. He added that most of the dead were buried in mass graves outside Dharna while others were transferred to nearby towns and cities. Abdul Jalil said rescue teams were still searching wrecked buildings in the city centres and divers were combining the sea of Dharna. Untold numbers could be buried under drifts of mud and debris, including overturned cars and concrete chunks that rise up to 4 metres high. Rescuers have struggles to bring in heavy equipment as the floods washed out or blocked roads leading to the area. Bureau report, SDT Times. Parts of Delhi and the NCR, including Noida, woke up to rain with gusty winds on Friday morning. Areas like MG Road in Haryana's Gurugram, Kanaut Place and the parts of Southwest Delhi, including Vasant Vihar, Munirka and RK Puram also experienced light rainfall in the early hours. Let's have a look. As per the PTI report, water lodging was witnessed in several parts of the national capital. The weather department has forecast generally cloudy skies with light to moderate rainfall in Delhi over the next five days. In a post of XIMD wrote Delhi and Sia, most likely to experience gusty wind of speedy 50 to 70 kmph and moderate in rain with few occasional intense spell due to approaching clouds from NW Uttar Pradesh still around 9.30 of today. Thereafter, gusty wind and rain spell will decrease gradually. Be updated and stay safe. The weather department also added that the impact expected due to the rains over Delhi and Siar and adjoining areas. It said that the traffic congestions and slippery roads due to the heavy rain spills and water lodging is expected. For the citizens, the weather department has asked to follow traffic advisories. Stay indoors, close windows and doors and avoid travel if possible. Take safe shelters. Do not take shelter under trees. Do not touch electric open wires and avoid standing near electric poles. Bureau Report, SDT Times. That's all for today in SDT Times. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for more updates.